Hey gente, welcome back to another video in Phoenix Legacy. Um, today in this video, we have a, another reaction, a different topic. Today, um, we're going to talk about all these Afro-Latinos, you know, all these Afro-Latinos and Afro-Latinas out there. And, you know, I think it's time, you know, that we start talking about all these clowns and all this fakery going on. Because we all can see the agenda, you know, that be that's being pushed. All right. So I don't know if you guys know about this channel. This channel is called Pero Like. Uh, Pero Like, I think, is, is one of the worst uh, shit going on against uh, uh, Hispanics and uh, against, you know, our culture. Um I'm talking right now, you know, this is a Dominican channel. I'm going to say it again. But we, I'm gonna t we're going to talk about Latinos overall, you know, and because uh, we all getting attacked. I know how I said, I know Dominicans, you know, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, you know, we we the one getting attacked the most. But this is this is for Latin. This channel is going to be for Latinos overall, for Latino topics overall. So right now, I don't know if you guys know about that channel. It's called Pero Like. Um they're trying to change everything that we are but like you know i think that channel is is part of the buzzfeed uh or the buzzfeed uh corporation so i don't know if you guys know about buzzfeed and all that that's that's just liberal and progressive latinx bullshit propaganda the, those uh those channels um are owned by white liberals so the problem with white liberals is that they are uh, the way they're attacking us is by uh trying trying to change uh everything that has to do with with our Spaniard uh background. They, they that's the that's the goal that they're trying to do. They're trying to like if you if you are you know a mixed person, they're trying to erase that um uh, that part out of your history. You know, cause you know, oh my god, they're bad. This and that. You know the sense. You know, you, you know the story. You know the bullshit. So these people from Pero like all these then Pero like have ha, has all these uh fake Latinos uh, how I call them Taco Bell Latinos that they say oh my god we're so proud of being Latinos oh I love being Latinos but then they're trying to erase what make what make us Latinos so you see the you see the you see the propaganda so so how I said something that uh you know how I the, the reason that I call these people Taco Bell Latinos is because you know that. Taco Bell is not real Mexican food. So if you know any Mexican out there, they're going to say, hey, no, it's not. But in America, some people think that Taco Bell is Mexican food. Same thing with these Latinos. All right. So I, I did notice, I did notice, I have to say, I did notice that, you know, no Latinos born in this country are Taco Bell Latinos. All right. Not all of them because I see people in the conversation, you know, <laughs> they, they did mention that, hey, like, listen, I was born here and I'm not one of them. So I'm just going to call taco bell latinos the latinos that um that have this liberal progressive mindset all right the the, the the latinos who say they're proud of being latinos but they're trying to change you know what makes us uh latinos all right so this uh channel pero like it's all about that nonsense so if you go see the channel is it's it's just a lot of fuckery in that channel now the problem that i have with that channel is that they have first they have a lot of fucking subscribers they have million almost like almost two million subscribers and they're attacking the youth. That's the major problem. Because if the youth get brainwashed by these clowns, we're we, we done. To 10 years from now, 20 years from now, the Latinos that we know for, you know, is, is going to be gone. We're going to be now all African. That's it. Because that's the agenda they're pushing. So in this video, they go around, you know. So we're going to have to start, you know, uh, calling these people out. I always said right now we we small but I know if we all get together we we can fight against these clowns. So this video, you know, right now that that clown that you see in your face, uh, they're gonna talk about uh, Afro Latinos get photoshopped into Latin American beauty standards. So something that you need to know about Latin America is that we're mixed people. We you know we most of us we're mixed, okay. But I guess that nowadays, if you're a mixed person, that's the problem. Uh, that's, you know, you can't say that you're mixed because it's a bad thing. So you have Africans, uh, African-Americans, you know, talking Dominicans on that. I mean, Latinos overall on that. And then you have these sellouts, all these Taco Bell Latinos, you know, saying the same shit. So we're fighting two people at the same time. 
we fighting outsiders and we fighting you know insiders <laughs> so um in this in this channel you know i just gonna call the 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 the, the fakery all these fucking clowns all right so let's let's start uh watching the videos you know i'm little by little i'm gonna you know start calling these people out and they're bullshit nonsense all right and we and all of you you know will see where i'm coming from and all of you watching this video are going to realize that these people are full of shit all right and and if you realize that they're full of shit make sure you go to their channel put a like and you tell them hey you're full of shit all right so let's start watching the video so again the title of this video is called afro latinos get photoshopped into latin american beauty standards so i, I already know where it's gonna go i'm pretty sure i know where it's gonna go if they change their face a little bit, a little bit wider, a little bit this. Oh my god, the races, you see, you know, you know that fucking agenda, but let's watch the video. No, I'm a beautiful human being. Man, shut the fuck up. You see, you see, this guy already pissing me off. Like, what kind of man, Latino man, he's real Latino, you know, he's going out there saying, oh, you know, my beautiful man. Like, who, who says shit like that? We were Latinos, you know, we don't say shit like that. But, you know, look at his face. These feminine-looking Latinos are the ones who are trying to teach, you know, show us Latinos, real Latinos, fucking who we are. But look at, look at this fucking guy. Oh, no more beautiful human being. Man, like, man, shut the fuck up. Like, stop talking nonsense. I know I love my curls and I love the melon in my skin. All right, this guy said his love, his curls, his melanin on his skin. Guy, you, this guy barely has any melanin on his skin. But, you know, again, while Latino, you know, he's, go he's going around saying shit like that. Like, it's not always was the case. It took years to get to that point. So to deconstruct that was going to be eye open. Here we go. Again, they're going back. They're trying to change, erase our history. I'm pretty, the reason why they're saying shit like that is because, oh, you know, Latin countries, they're, they're, they're colonized by Spaniards and it's all about Spanish down there. Uh, we need to change that. You know, it was, it, again, the point of these channels, like Pero Like, is to erase half of our um history okay so i'm interested how this video oh like man this fucking guy man he's uh, another dominican uh taco bell dominican he can't stand his ass uh what they're gonna do and how they're gonna change us i love my skin i love the way i look yo you see okay yo soy bendecido por salir así negro un negrito así guy this guy look black to you <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna call the bullshit on the on the like on their on their own channel, right? Using their own channel. Um, so I'm gonna call out the bullshit that they are saying, using like the same video that they have on on the pero like the pero like uh, channel. Right. Let, let's let's go back. Let's go back to uh what he said. I love my skin, I love the way I look. Yo creo que yo soy bendecido por salir así negro, un negrito así como yo. Y yo estoy feliz, más feliz del mundo. So, si me cambias, que me importa, pero yo estoy bien como estoy. So, this is now, I'm guessing, what we call negrito now. That, that, someone like, that looks like this guy. That's a new thing. I guess the thing is that I, prob probably I'm not woke. Probably that's my problem. I'm not, I'm not woke, quote unquote. So, um, I guess, you know, they start talking about the beauty standard. They're saying that in DR, I guess that's a beauty standard. A Dominican vampire. It's horrible. They gave me, like, green eyes. So, you see, so if you get, you know, if you look, if if, a Domin if the beauty standard in Dominican, let's say, is that, it's kind of, you know, white with green eyes and things like that, it's horrible. Be lighter. Because oh, the agenda is black. That's the agenda. It has to be just black. I my nose. Alright, so something that came my attention in this in this uh video, what's what's in uh the yellow letters here? So it says despite the fact that the DR has has the fifth largest black population of any countries outside of Africa, many black many black uh Dominicans don't consider themselves black. Right? That's the agenda, how I said. That's the agenda going on. Dominicans are also in the black. Now so my question is guys, why are we calling black? What's black now? Because this is shit. I don't even know what's black now. Because now this kid is black. Uh, a few, few years ago, a few months ago, you know, like fucking years ago, a few months ago, this kid, this kid was not black. But now I guess that's the new. Everybody's black now. So I don't even know what's black and what's white anymore, according to these fucking liberals. So 
many uh, many black Dominicans are considered themselves black. Now, if you watch my last video, you're gonna see this video of this uh, Conta Quinte looking dude that went to a Dominican neighborhood, and the people that he was interviewed trying to call them black, they look white. You know, light skinned people, mixed looking people. So I, right now, I don't even know what what um, white and what black. I, I I can't tell now, to be honest, because shit it looks like we're confused now we don't we don't know what the fuck a black per we don't know how a black uh, person look like nowadays i'm guessing look at that nose oh hell no nah. they should have made my lips smaller oh hell no nah. all right Story now let's go to what i've seen in the media has been the reason that i'm showing these these two is because we have the they have a dominican and a puerto rican i would say a lot of us are the one you know dominicans puerto rican cubans are the one being attacked the most that does not look like me at all. Either way, I love myself. Crow game popping, melon popping. <laughs> you hear that shit? Melon and popping. What kind of Latino you know, real Latino you know, is, is going around saying shit like this? Melon and popping. Oh, the only people I've seen saying that, uh, I've seen a lot of black women saying that. But at least, you know, they're, they're black, you know what I mean? But these fake fucks, I'm not even black and saying already this shit like that. It's all good. All right, so let's see. Now, let's start calling out the bullshit. Because they did a DNA test on their channel. Now, let's see what Afri how, how much African do they have in the DNA. Are they so proud of being African? Right? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go uh, check. So, this is the Puerto Rican guy. Uh, the one that I just... That was in the screen. Right? Because this, this was like two years ago that they made this video. So, now let's, see, let's check their DNA. Right? You see? You, you saw that part? So when he took the DNA test, the agenda that they had didn't work out. Because they were hoping for them to be more African. Like, bro, you can we can see it like on your skin that you're a mixed person. And stop fucking trying so hard. But the agenda was to show that they're Africans. But this guy, this melanin popping proud African, is only 17% African. So forget that he's 47, 40% European. Forget that he's native. Forget about all that part. That part of your DNA, that part of your history does not count. It's only the African side that counts. All right. So you guys now trying uh, are trying to catching the 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 bullshit. So from these curls on this fro, and I guess this is all just seventeen percent right here. I guess that's just. So the Mister Melanin Poppin is only seventeen percent African. All right. It is. Oh, I said I don't know who these people are. This video is gonna be more about you know Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, right? Now, you remember that Gadier guy who said he's a uh, proud Negro and proud Moreno and all that? Let's uh, watch his uh, DNA uh, test. I um, mean, his DNA uh, results. I'm West African. I knew that. That's where all the drums come from in Dominican Republic. All right. So, according to his DNA, he's, uh, he's uh, 30, uh, what is it? 33% West African. All right. Wait, time out. Where is that at? You see, here we go again. They didn't like. Here we go again. Fuck the Europeans. He did not like that part. So this Moreno, whatever Negrito, whatever he said, is fifty-one percent European, right? Is fifty-one percent European. Let's uh go to his uh. Uh, where, where is this guy? Where's the video? Oh, yeah, right here. Let's, uh, go back to his, uh, to his, to his, uh, Afro pride. They're going to change us. I love my skin. I love the way I look. Yo creo que yo soy bendecido por salir así negro, un negrito así como yo. Negrito. With 51% European and only 33% African. 
So you guys are seeing the bullshit in the agenda that, that's going on? So, again, they go around saying, oh, Dominicans, uh, you, you saw the yellow letters there in the comments. Oh, Dominicans, uh, they don't like, their they're blacks and they don't like being called black. You calling black someone who's, on, according to the DNA, is 51% European and only 33% black. So you're telling me now that those people are, are have to be forced to say they're black? And please don't give me the hope of white people, you're black. Like, bro, no, stop with the bullshit. I'm here talking about Latinos, man. It's not the bullshit. Don't, don't come with, with that fucking crap to this channel, all right? Because I've seen those comments already. I've I seen them already, like in the comment section. 50, hold on, time out. I'm 53% European, 51. Who are you, the white girl? 51%. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm a white girl. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. The guy in the bottom said, so he's a white girl. <laughs> uh, pretty cool to be like yo like i'm part of like all over the place thanks all right i'm feel so you see he says it's kind of cool but now forget about that now forget about the, the he says it's kind of cool but you know i guess because this video was taken in 2016 so i guess the afro nonsense was not as huge as now but now that doesn't really matter if he's uh more european than white now he's only you know if you go to the video from today uh he's only black so you guys see the bullshit all right so now um let's see because there is more there's more another dominican chick here who uh made a comment which was interesting so let's go watch because when this uh fake fucks they find out that they mix that they're more african that they're more european than than african they get disappointed. Oh my god, you didn't know. Like, bro, really? You didn't know the most Dominicans are mixed? Yeah, you didn't know that? That's all. That's all I have wanted. <laughs> I didn't want to be a part of colonization. I just wanted to be more black. That's all. That's all I have wanted. So she said, I just wanted to be more black. Right? And, oh my god, she's so. Uh, what's the word that they use when every time you say some shit like that? Um, anyway, I forgot the word, but she said, I don't, I just want to be more, uh, black. So imagine if she would say that I just want to be more white. Oh my God. Imagine how people would go crazy. So you had, they're trying to have mixed people trying to identify as something. If she would have said, I just want to be more white. Oh my God, man. CNN will be on top of this video. Like there is no tomorrow, but she said, I want to be more black. So it's a cool thing to say. Again, if you want to be cool, I guess you have to say you are Latino or whatever. And then you, you get, you cool. But if you say you something else, oh my god, how the fuck you gonna say that? You know, like, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> I didn't want to be a part of colonization. You hear that shit? I didn't want to be part of colonization. That's another thing too. Uh, um, people trying to change history. Like history was history, and history happened, and there is nothing you can do about it. That will make us Latinos. The 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 people forget that what unite us as Latinos is fucking Spanish, Spanish language. You know what I mean? So you can say all the things, the bad things that happen, but you know that's what makes us Latinos. That's what unite us as Latinos. It was that that if that wouldn't have happened, we wouldn't be how close we are now. They they don't fucking see that shit. And do they forget that Africans they sold all the Africans? There was a business. That's how shit was back in the day. It was a business. White people used went to Africa. Hey, I want some I want some uh some slaves. The African king, whatever that was going on, how many do you want? You want 20? Yes. Oh, so how much is that? Oh, this isn't that. And then they sold their people. But the people, you know, they wanna they want to uh erase that as well out of the out of the picture. Alright. So let's see what was her uh DNA uh result, all right? Let's see. What is the thing? This is just not what I was expecting. Oh boy, here we go. 48.7% European. Okay. 35% with 7.9% being Native American from Dominican Republic. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. Like, I'm laughing. But inside, I'm kind of just like, girl. You see? So all these uh, Afro-Latinos, uh, all these Taco Bell Latinos, they're mad that they're a mix. You know, they're not really, they're, they're not happy about that. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day, you bunch of fucking fuck faces 
that's what make us Latinos. It's stop fucking trying to delete, to delete, to erase who we are. All right. Fuck this shit is fucking annoying, and the fact that these people have so many, so many uh, subscribers is fucking crazy. But again, that's the reason why, why we need to fight back against these clowns because if you attack the youth, you gain the future. You know what I mean? Like if you uh, attack and you change the mindset of the youth, you gain the future because the youth is the future. So, and that's my, you know, my biggest fear that they're going against the youth. So if the youth, um, the young generation get that mindset for years from now, it's all over. 10, 20 years from now, it's over. We're done. We are done. But, you know, that's what the reason why we need to fight back again, uh, again, all these fucking clowns. So, you know, I'm just going to leave the video here. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys that catch my, 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 my point that I was trying to make. So, if you guys see videos like this, uh, please let me know if you want me to react uh, to videos like this. You know, calling these people out. The reason why I'm saying that is because there's a lot of them going out, you know, out there. A lot of fucking fuckery going on out there. And I'm only one person, so I can't catch them all. So, if you see something like that, you want me to react, uh, please uh, link the link them on, my, on, on, the, on the comment section. And that way, you know, I can react and start calling these fuck faces out. Alright, guys. So... I'm done for today. That's it for the video. Uh, see you in the next video. All right. Let's go.